What's up? Hey, good morning. Welcome to uh, <laughs> Vloguary Day 6-7. Seven. Seven. Lord of the Jews! Hello, seven. It is uh, a snowstorm outside. Take a look. Oh, Mama loves my singing bowl. She laughed at me when I got it, <laughs> but she loves it. <laughs> she loves that shit. Look at it. It's snowing. Well, we have to it's so it. it's so hard to see on camera. But it's oh, so oh, but there you can see it gets there. the brown of the But yeah, uh there's a lot of snow happening. Gotta go out in it. Big time, I have a doctor's appointment. I'm wearing my Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. I like this in the winter because it has a bit of a glow to it. You know, once you get to a certain age, the matte the matte is a little unforgiving in the wrinkles. Especially now that I'm emptying like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> and everything is rather loose. My butt is getting loose. It's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> I will. I have no filters. So right. if you're watching these vlogs, you're going to get the whole story as it unfolds of uh, my journey to... I hate that word, journey. I strive to get a hernia fixed. Your path. I got a big ass hernia that needs fixing, and man, I am not gonna let up until I get get her to the magic number that that doctor will fix it. But what's funny is, as I'm losing weight, the hernia is looking worse because my stomach is receding around it. So now it really looks like an <laughs> alien, and there's like two lumps of it. It's yeah. it's quite funny but like, we we're finally getting to see what the hernia is actually yeah how like how big it is cause and it's big it's like a basketball it's big and it's but it's not like perfectly round like a basketball no no uh glossier i got on i got on the bandwagon with the glossier this is at uh what is this called it's their under eye concealer i have it in medium stretch concealer um and it is very moisturizing so if you have oily skin, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but I love it under the eye because it really adds a lot of moisture while it covers up, which is very cool. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go to the doctor's office and then uh, I have a, a phone meeting this afternoon because I have a gig next week in Montreal. I'll take you with me. I'm just going there on the day, like flying in, doing the gig, and then I'm going to fly right back. That's the advantage of living in Toronto, big city to big city. We can fly her in and fly her back. That's why we moved. Yes. Because I spent too many days and weeks <laughs> and hours sitting in airports. Yes. Stuck, unable to get to where I wanted to go. So yeah, I'll take you with me on that trip. Um, and uh, then yeah, I'm going to try to get... A little bit more over to my editor today because I heard from her yesterday. Yay! She loved it. Uh, I'm so that's happy. Not, that's I was so it. nervous. I was so scared. It's, it's weird sending that first Well, it's bit. your first submission. Yeah. Like to a big publisher. So. And I was scared she was going to say, this sucks. Why did we give you a book deal? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but she didn't say that. No, she's wonderful. <laughs> Which was lovely. She is wonderful. I think I definitely... Um, scored big I got the right editor you know what I mean like because your ed your editor is like really important in it, this it's a crucial relationship yeah because yeah. uh this if I were doing favorites this would be like my favorite product of all 2017 uh, you know I'm on a Tom Ford kick but this Tom Ford shade and illuminate I've got it in 01 intensity one it's a cream bronzer and highlighter but the highlighter see there's no glitter it's just like this white, it's a little, it looks a little dirty because my fingers get it from the foundation, but it's just like a, a, a nice cream that adds a glisten oh, as yeah. opposed to glitter ball, somebody punched me in the eye, uh, I'm reflecting from 20, you know, it's, it's not that. It instead is just like, looks like I'm naturally dewy. You know, I think it's I think it's like the most brilliant, brilliant highlighter. I'm gonna be so sad because on this no buy, I have agreed that when I run out of things, if I have other versions, I have to use those before I can buy anything. So when I run out of this, I won't be able to replace it. But it is highly recommended for me to you. And in the winter, as I said, at my age now, I like to use cream products as much as possible so that I don't look all dried out. 
Oh, I'm dried out. Nobody wants to be dried out. And right now is my pan. I haven't done Project Pan yet, but I'm trying to use this entire palette up in 2018. So this cream blush in here is what I've been wearing. And a number of you have been talking about my skin from my Instagram pictures. I think it's two things. I think giving up the sugar and the white flour has had an impact on my skin. I think my skin not being stretched um, has like been good for it. But also I think this palette, see it doesn't look exciting, but those colors are really natural, glowy, like pretty blush colors. And I think that's part of it. So Project Pan 2018, this is a very old product, but it's still in good shape. Still smells fine. I'm going to try to use this whole thing up in 2018. That's what's happening. <laughs> you go say hi? Say good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we have rescheduled the doctor's appointment because the weather is really bad out there and it's kind of dangerous for me to be popping around. So I just finished the book I was reading this morning. I just started the selected essays of Gore Vidal. Gore Vidal is like a hero of mine. So I'm heavy into this, but now the mail has arrived. And with the no buy, I've made a little list of the things that I already ordered that I'm still like waiting to come in. Um, so these will be the things I can enjoy <laughs> because once everything is in, that's the end of it. So this package is from Amazon. Oh, and it's a very cool Franklin Covey little pen and pencil set which I want for in my purse. I wanted something not expensive. I think it was like $15 or something. But that looked nice, do you know what I mean, in my purse. But that if I should lose it, I wouldn't lose my mind. There's two places that I like to get pens from. One is in the United States called Goulet Pens, which I think something's coming from them today, from FedEx. And the other is here in Toronto called Wonder Pens. Usually we go to Wonder Pens, but there was a special Lamy fountain pen coming out. Lamy is a cheap pen, relatively speaking, like the uh, their Safari uh, pens run around, I think, $36. And their empires go at around $40, $45. Anyway, they come out every year with like special limited edition colors. They're really bright. And this one was pink. And Goulet Pens was supposed to get it in February. And I was waiting, and it's still not available on Google Pens. Pens. It's, it's, technically, it's Denise's birthday gift to me, or Valentine gift to me. So Wonder Pens got it in, and instead of trying to drive downtown, I decided to order it online with some other lovely goodies in here. But I'm going to dig to it. All the Laney Pens come in these cool boxes which I love where you get like a little hint through the window just how beautiful she is oh it's gorgeous look at the color look at it matches my nails perfect you yeah, and, and you prepared for the pen arrival so beautiful now there should be a converter in there as well Oh my god, there's all kinds of goodies in here. Another lady. No, now, with the Lamy is a special pink ink to match it, but they didn't have it in full size, so all I could get were these little samples. Um, vibrant pink, it's called. But Goulet is supposed to get the full bottles in, so we'll see what happens with that. But these are a bunch of, so there's converters in there, some inks. This was a little letter writing pack for, this is International Letter Writing Month. And that's a free pen that came with it, with the letter writing pack. And where's, and this is one of the inexpensive Lamy's that's plastic, not metal, but in a very cool, it's called black, I think it's called, black purple purple black so those less expensive fountain pens you can throw in your purse and not worry about it if they get dinged up like some of the fancy fountain pens these not have you would not throw in a purse no. 
Um, but, you know, a $25, $30 pen. Let me check that new person. That's pretty, like, you know what I mean? It's sturdy. It's not going to get beat up. This is a lovely French paper, French writing paper, which I think Denise and I are going to watch again Midnight in Paris today because we absolutely love that movie and we watch it over and over and over again. So, yay, Wonder Pens. Yay! Did you want to see what came from Chapters 2? Well, you say you want to show because your mom's get ex your excitement over soon. Oh, look, this is this postcard is is that's inside of the Wonder Pen and store. That's their kitty cat. And that little kitty cat was like this big. It was a baby. It's, oh my goodness! I don't think I'd ever seen a cat so small when it we was, first went. Like, he was tiny. His little face was this big. And he and, lives there, I guess. Yes, and and has gotten quite big. Let's see. Oh, look at that. They're quite big. Yeah, that's their ink wall. Yeah. Now, you guys want to see what came from chapters because Mama Denise is going to roll her eyes at me. Oh, boy. You don't think I was already rolling my eyes? You're supposed to buy... Hang on. She's supposed to just buy the lean pen from Wonder Pens. <laughs> I know. But it had to be the, it had to be the last hurrah. Last Tango in Paris. We have to buy a car this year. Just so you know. What? Notebooks? Holy freak. Do you know how many I got in storage? How many? Three big heavy boxes that must weigh about 100 pounds each of yours. But are they as pretty as this? To fit in my purse? Not the who, not all who wander are lost. Okay. Don't you have a notebook that had that already on it? Uh, a different kind. A different I kind, have, yeah. I actually have a lot of things. You have a desk yeah, that I says have a, that. Yeah. But I just thought this was really so Yeah, a lap desk. That, that's right. That's right. With that little button clothing, closing on it. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. You happy? Okay, that's all that matters, I guess. Oh, So, Honey Bear really liked the idea of this, and then she tried to put it in her pocket, and it was a little too big, and I said, time to shop the stash. I have a Nano from Chic Sparrow in green, which is Denise's favorite color, and now she has put her calico pen on it. There it is. How adorable. Isn't that leather beautiful? So, she already had this calico fountain pen, which I got her. A little while ago it's they're tiny right but then when you post them up mm. they're good to write with and this little uh, nano from chic sparrow nano is the size I believe this one is called Poseidon this leather color and there's a little pocket so you can shove your bank card or anything you want in there and then little notebooks one with plain one with grid one striped and another pocket in the back and when you fill your notebooks up you just take them out and refill it you can you can just keep refilling it and like I told you the pen fits perfectly right in the edge and then so she wants to draw or take notes when she's out with the dogs little thought hits her that she doesn't want to lose for her writing yeah and then it just goes like this like it fits right into the into the pocket, into the pocket, which is perfect for me because I I use pockets well because well I got poop bags and one for the dogs, my <laughs> phone, my keys, and then often I, I am out when and whenever I'm out in nature, out in the world, and but especially when I'm out uh, uh, in in Mother Nature, I do I, I do get I get some creative thoughts happening, and then I'm like sometimes I try to put it on my phone, you know, in the notes, and then I'm like uh, then I or forget about it. Because they're quick, they come quick, and they're pretty poignant at times, but then I forget about them. But having this with me, and then with the natural leather, and uh, being outside with it, yeah, I never thought to, but, because I have a big one for my, uh, for my backpack that I take with me when I'm out longer t journeys, and, but this is really cool. It just really, literally fits the palm of your hand, and goes, and now I can use my 
uh, calco because I don't use a calco in house uh, when I write much at all. Uh, but it's a perfect travel and it matches. So shop in the stash, kids. It'll be a year of shopping the stash. How fun. So I finished the next layer and this is a recording studio that will go on top of the boxing or the gym slash boxing arena. And this is what it looks like. Very cool. There's a little chiclet there out on the balcony and just around some flowers outside the window. This is the back of the building. Um, and I think this is how they would probably enter, I think, once I attach it to the other piece. I think that you have to go up the stairs from the, from the ground level, go up, and then they're going to have to go up the back stairs to come into this part. But inside is, yeah, a little chair, a little table, on that wall, there's the door to go out to the balcony. Uh, these are probably going to be like carpeting pieces or something. Uh, the engineer sits here, and then the voice recording is over there. Um, and this cute here, so like a little bureau with a couple glasses and a little jug of whatever drink that triggers a fancy rock and roll mural on the wall. Uh, a record on the wall there and yeah so that's what that level layer looks like so how cool is that look at the, the just the pink and the green combo is quite nice so now i'm going to put it on top of the other two layers so there is the layer so far so we have the diner the gym the recording studio and here's what it looks like together. I have another layer yet to do. And the, oh, the little pink car has to be built yet. That's what it looks like from the side. And there's the back. And there's the intricate detailed steps that I built. Get in focus here. Focus, focus, focus. Anyway, you come up the stairs. And you come on into the door to the recording studio that way. And this must be another layer. I'm not sure what the top is going to be yet, but um, that is it put together. The first three layers. One more layer and then the car. I might do that today. If I'm not, I'll figure out if not today, tomorrow. But that is just so cool just like the picture, if not better. This is better than the picture. Oh, the rituals of bedtime. Get, get up on your own. <laughs> oh, left her own. Oh, there she is. Left her own Where is he? There he there is. is. Hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, you comfy? Mm. Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad you're all comfortable. Yes, that's what matters. Yeah, yeehaw. <laughs> I have a face mask on. It's the, um, sort of like the cheap cousin of the Fresh Rose Mask. It's the Body Shop's version of it. It's not nearly as fantastic and it smells like kind of perfumey, but using it up, using it up. We are going to do some eye masks. You, if you watch the empties, you know that we used up our last Peter Thomas Roth, which were the cloud ones. And now tonight we're going to start in on the cucumber detox ones. So Denise will put hers on now. I'll wait till I take my face mask off to put mine on. But we're going to make that at the end of the night because we're going to get... Oh, that was a wave. Oh, that was a... Um, yeah, we're going to call it a night. It's about 9 o'clock. We want to read for a bit. And um, I'm actually sleepy and I am hoping, fingers crossed, tonight might be my first night sleeping all the way through. Let's hope. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow. They say we got no power. Power don't change. Take, take